going to walk you through how to build a simple glide app using data stored in Google Sheets. So once you have your glide account all set up and your Google Sheets ready, go ahead and meet me back in glide. Once you have your glide account all set up, you'll see that you have quite a few options to start from right here in the main screen. But if you go over to the view all, you'll see you have a lot more options there as well. So as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of templates here. Some of them are paid, some are free, but if you have an idea of where you want to start, this might be a good place for you to begin. What will happen is you'll be able to copy that template over. A lot of that data will already be set up for you and will help you as you build. Let's take a look at something that I built from scratch, however, though, using a quick Google Sheet. So here you can see I've put together a listing of some data for me. This is some gluten-free items I found in and around my local area, but maybe for you, this is data about fitness or health or whatever it might be. The point is if you have a nice Google Sheet doc, you can create an app in very little time. Let me show you how to do it. So back over in Glide, if you have a Google Sheet that you would like to use, just go ahead and hit New Project. Once you hit that button, you'll see you have the option for a mobile app or a web page. This tutorial walks us through a mobile app. So go ahead and hit Continue. You can name it whatever you would like. And then pick the device that it will be used on for us as a phone. Go ahead and hit Continue. And then it's going to ask you for a source. Now we're using Google Sheets, so you just want to go ahead and click continue and then pick the corresponding Google Sheet. You can also use a glide table. And then as you can see, there's still some other sources as well uh, that they are thinking about adding. So you can go ahead and fill all of that out if you would like. Like I said, I'm going to pick Google Sheets and then select the Google Doc I'm working from. So I've gone ahead and pulled in this Google Sheet into Glide. And as you can see before I've done anything else, I already have an app built. It's pretty amazing if you already have that data in existence. From here, you can do a ton of customization. So let's take a little bit and walk through how to customize this app.